The following Lil Wayne news comes courtesy of TMZ. TMZ writes, and I quote, Lil Wayne had a front row seat watching Floyd Mayweather beat Manny Pacquiao. He also watched the Ravens beat the 49ers in the 2013 Super Bowl. He even watched the finals of the NCAA women's tourney and he stiffed the ticket brokers, allegedly. Tickets of America and White Glove International claim Wayne got $119,400 worth of tickets and never paid a cent. According to the lawsuit, Wayne got tickets for the following events. Mayweather vs. Pacquiao, which was $67,500. Super Bowl 47, $14,000. MTV Video Music Awards, $4,000. Heat vs. Hawks, $11,000. Lakers vs. Rockets, $11,100. Clippers vs. Rockets, $11,300. And this is sad. NCAA Women's Basketball Final Four, a measly $500. The suit claims Wayne got the tickets between February 2013 and June 2015. The suit names Young Money and Wayne's manager, Cortez Bryant, but not the rapper himself. We reached out to Wayne so far, no word back, end quote. Here's my opinion. How could anybody stiff people like this? You know, I see these types of stories all of the time, and I can never understand how anyone with so much money, especially those who brag about their wealth, could ever screw anybody out of a dime. I mean, you're young money. But then again, maybe they stay rich by not paying people they owe. I mean, in my world, if you got it, then you pay your bills, you know. No one should ever have to sue a rich person, you know, unless the bill had something extra added to it that, you know, caused a sort of discrepancy or unless they had a medical issue or something like that and their bills piled up. Or, You know, all I know is with all of the stories of people getting screwed over and over by Lil Wayne, Young Money, Brian Baby Williams, a.k.a. Birdman, etc., all these alleged stories, I know I would never do business with them. But this is all my opinion. This is just what I think. What do you think? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels and visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more.